31 Denver. News at 5. Big news today impacting your money as the Federal Reserve raises the interest rate for the second time in just a few months. So how much is it going to cost you? Of course, the big question. Fox 31's Joe St. George figuring it all out for us, a math guy here and a problem solver's consumer alert. Joe. Well, the amount of money shouldn't cause people at home to downsize from their car or sell their home, but it should make you more weary to go into more debt, especially with possible additional interest hikes on the horizon. Going into debt just got more expensive. The simple message is the economy is doing well. Federal Reserve Chair Janet Yellen announcing today a 0.25% increase in the interest rate. So what does that mean for you? It actually impacts those with debt the most. Kim Curtis, the author of Money Secrets, says those in debt will pay more. So how much? <laughs> Let's start with the new car. A $20,000 auto loan will now cost $36 more a year. How about those credit cards? For every $1,000, you'll pay $25 more annually. Buying a home, a 30-year mortgage for a $300,000 home may cost you $360 a year. A consumer with debt, I would absolutely do whatever we could or you could to reduce that balance. But it's not all bad news. Sometimes those that put their money in savings accounts with higher interest rates receive larger returns. Unfortunately, Kim doesn't think it'll happen this go around. I think that the last place we're going to see the rate increase, the rate hike, is in our savings accounts or CDs that we own. Curtis says while well, all of this means the economy is solid, and that's good news, what should be the biggest concern is a signal from Yellen, more hikes may come this year. That means debt, especially credit cards, will cost even more. When interest rates go up, uh, credit cards are impacted quickly. Alrighty, so how about some tips? Kim says be on the lookout for those zero interest credit cards. Might be worth transferring some debt. Also, don't be afraid to use home equity. That can sometimes be cheaper in the long term. And finally, if you were going to buy a car next month and can do it tonight, do it now. Typically takes a few weeks for these rates to adjust. Joe St. George, Fox 31. I, uh -oh. I have to buy a new car. That was you. So I, <laughs> dinner break. Dinner break. If I can Meet make you it at, happen. Uh, Toyota. <laughs> right, for sure. Thanks, Joe.